Hi, my name is Lina. Today I'm going to give another my lesson about trigonometric inequalities. So I want to show you how to solve the way of solving trigonometric inequalities using unit term. So I've got here two examples, one related with sine x, the second one related with cosine x. So I hope that after these two examples you can understand this uh, topic very well. So first of all we have to draw unit circle. Unit circle. Well, sorry for my drawings. X axis and this one is Y axis. Now for sides we always have to take main axis as a Y axis. This one is for related to sine. So in this axis I have to choose this number, sine is x less than 1 over 2. So this point related for 1, this one is minus 1, this one is 0. So I have to find 1 over 2, it is this one. So I need to then draw a parallel line passing through this. So it is 1 over 2. If sine is x less than 1 over 2, it means that we have to take the under part of this, below part of this line. So this arc is our solution. When we are measuring, when we are writing our solution, we always have to move counterclockwise in this direction. So my answer has to be start from this. This is my first point. This has to be my second point because I can move only to this way. I cannot move to the opposite. So if I will take first point like this, this part is not my answer. So I cannot move it. So that's why this first point, this is our second point. So my answer is going to be starting from T1 and finishing in T2 and the simple brackets of course. So now I need to focus on finding T1 and the T2. So let's think about T1, this one, this side. And uh, after remembering that arc signs, arc sign of 1 over 2, it is 30 degree. So this angle cannot be 30 degree. Of course, then only this side is on angle 30 degree. But I need to find this side. So in order to do this, I have to subtract from 180 degree 30 degree to back. So it's going to be 150 degree. So T1 equal to 150 degree. Now it is time to find the second point. Of course, I can measure like this, it is 30 degree, but by according to the like, uh, solution, second point always has to be greater than first point. Then I need to add to this 30 degree 2 pi or 360 60 degrees, sorry, because the whole circle gives 360. So next point, T2, it is 360 plus 30, it is 390 degrees. So my answer, total answer, 150 degree plus 360 and starting from this one, finishing 390 degree plus 360 and. So we were finished with the task related with sine x. And the same, I can say for cosine, the one difference, we have to change the axis. Before for sine we got this y axis as a main. For cosine, we have to uh, choose x axis as a main axis. So cosine x more than minus square root of 3 over 2. So this one is minus 1, this one is 1. So I have to draw minus, uh, choose minus 3 over 2. So it's somewhere here. So I have to draw a parallel line to y. And the cosine x more. Then I have to choose the right side of this circle. So so this arc, this part of circle represents my solution. So again, we have to always move only counterclockwise. So my first point have to be this one, T1. I can start from this one and move until this point. This is my second point. So in order to find this angle, now I have to find angle this, to this side. So let's remember our cosines of my uh, root of 3 over 2, it is about 60 degree. So, uh, sorry, it's not 60 degree, it is 30 degree again. So this one is 30 degree. So I have to again move 180 back 150. But because I'm moving 
by according to the clockwise, then my first angle, this T1, is minus 150 degrees. And my second point, T2, is this one. So this angle is positive 150 degrees, because again, the same, 180 degrees and back 30 degrees. So altogether 150 degrees. And the answer from minus 150 degrees plus period of cosine, of course the same is sinus, 360N till uh, 150 degree plus 360N, where N is positive whole numbers. Thank you for your attention.